Well, if there was ever a day that I'm making a video that I don't feel like making a video, it's today. And the title <laughs> says it plainly, not my best day. Things are not going the way I'd like or as fast as I'd like. For me, it's very frustrating. Indeed, I uh, talked to doctors today and I also talked to the caseworker. It looks as if my um, Medicaid may or may not be going through. I mean, uh, without the Medicaid, of course, I'm going to be figuring out and getting hit with all these collection agencies of trying to collect medical bills, of which I've got several thousand, you know, tens of thousands. One of them is 19,000 by itself, and that's the one for Shands with all the doctors combining them for the into the Shands uh, statement. And uh, it's very frustrating uh, that I keep getting hit for these bills, and <laughs> and I don't have the ability to pay them. I'm still collecting my basic Social Security of, uh, of $955 a month, and that's my income. I'm supposed to be able to get uh, uh, food stamps and uh, perhaps even other income, but so far none of that has happened, and everything seems to be taking longer than I expect and would like it to take, um, including the ambassador's visit here here in Florida and in Brazil. I'm really looking forward to meeting him. I think he's a wonderful gentleman. He's become a very good friend of mine, uh, and I appreciate him a lot, a lot. Although I have not seen the materialization of some of the monetary things that I'm looking forward to to getting, so that it would ease my load and enable me to. Uh, Pay some of these debts, or to offset them, or however, however they're going to be handled. Uh, what I thought was for a free service um, uh, in, uh, in uh, what do you call it? The, uh, the, the lab, the not lab, uh, the system, the, the health system that I'm that I've been working with, that I've signed up with, with one of the doctors, Dr. Robinson. Uh, I found out today that I uh, it's a copay, and I got a bit my first ever bill for sixty dollars, which isn't a lot of money for considering the services they give. But it's a lot of money when you consider that I got hit with a double FPL bill because uh, FPL screwed up, and even though it says in their system. That I'm supposed to have automatic bill pay. They hit me for $555 change, which I think I've mentioned before, and that comes all at once. And again, I, my monthly income is only $955, so it, it really uh, gouges uh, gouges my uh, availability of money. And I'm sorry, that maybe shouldn't frustrate me, but it does. And it also frustrates me that last week they did a procedure where they drained the fluid from my lungs, about three and a half, roughly three and a half liters of fluid from my lungs. And I felt better than I have felt in a long time. Beginning Monday this week, uh, I began to have shortness of breath, uh, which to me is indicative of the, or indicative of the, of the fluid building back up in my lungs. And it's because the doctor decided not to do the changes in my heart that would increase my heart rate and enable me to pump blood better, better in my body and enable me to um, return to more of a normalcy. I mean, it includes a pacemaker and uh, something else of, the, of an implant uh, that would regulate my my heart so that I could uh, accomplish um, a, a level of normalcy and stop the buildup of fluid. Uh, obviously that didn't happen. I still have fluid. It seems to be increasing in my leg, especially my right leg, uh, although it's present in my left leg too, but not to the same extent as the right leg. 
anyway, all of these things seem to be cascading upon me, uh, causing me to uh, rethink a lot of things and to have a more negative outlook. My daughter says, Dad, you, you're always going to have to face the positive and negative. Sounds like my son. Well, I'm sorry. I have long envisioned a, a better world, not a world where the system itself is corrupt, as it is in the medical system here in the United States and, and around the world, where they make huge profits over selling drugs that have side effects that make you take more drugs. And I'm watching it as I'm, what am I up to now? Uh, yeah, they're adding another one tomorrow. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. I'm going to be up to nine drugs if I'm if I'm counting right now, and I, that's how it started with my dad. And then it, they they have side effects, so they give him another drug for that. Ended up he was taking about two dozen different drugs every single day. The last thing in the world I want is to is to become addicted to uh, prescription medication. I do not like them, I do not trust them, and I want to go holistic as soon as I can go holistic uh, and stop the nonsense of taking these, what to me are poisons. Uh, I know there are people that don't see it that way. That's how I see it. And it, as I said, it, it frustrates me, and, it, and when I think about these things, it does not produce for me a very good day, a very uplifting day. And so perhaps you listening to this video, those of you that choose to listen, um, will either empathize or say, Ron, get off it, or whatever you're going to, however you're going to react. Um, it is what it is, and I am where I am, and I'm not liking uh, the way things are, are going for me in most areas of my life right now. I'm still uh, experiencing pain in my chest from time to time, uh, sometimes quite severe. If I happen to be laying on the wrong side, like laying on my right side instead of my left side, I seem to have the pain recur more often than, than when I'm laying on my left side. So I don't know if, if all this has any relevance or not. It's where I am. And I thank you for taking those of you that take time to listen. And I do request your prayers and, where possible, your support uh, in whatever way possible. Uh, I have a lot on my plate, and including the, the court date that moved from uh, August 4th to August 11th, which is my daughter's birthday. And they're still trying, as far as I know, to steal my house, where there was never a mortgage to begin with. And these are some of the things that I'm, that I'm facing. Uh, that make for it not to 